migrating SQL workloads to the cloud is an involved project. In this video, I will talk about migrations from SQL Server, hosted on-prem or in a virtual machine, to Azure SQL Managed Instance. I will also talk about just one specific aspect of the migration process, and that is minimizing the failover or cutover time. That is the time needed for the application to stop using the old primary SQL Server and starts connecting to the new primary Azure SQL Managed Instance. Listener Endpoint is a great tool for achieving minimal failover downtime during migrations. Listener Endpoint is a domain name that dynamically resolves to the server we want to use. For a migration from SQL Server to Azure SQL Managed Instance, you'd initially create and configure the listener endpoint to point to the SQL Server. Before the migration, it's crucial that you configure the application and all clients to connect to the SQL Server by using the listener endpoint. Once the data is synced between the source SQL Server and the destination Azure SQL Managed Instance, and all other important configurations are in place and you are ready to perform the migration failover, you'd alter the listener endpoint so it starts pointing to the new primary Azure SQL Managed Instance. After the failover, a brief period of unavailability should be expected. This duration is equal to the value of the time to leave property set on the listener endpoint's DNS record in its DNS server. For Azure Private DNS, TTL can be set as short as one second. Other DNS servers may impose longer minimum TTL times. Let's also mention some important limitations we have with Azure SQL Managed Instance. The first one is that the host name of the listener endpoint must be identical to the name of the Azure SQL Managed Instance. For example, if the instance is named MySQLMI01, then the link listener endpoint must start with MySQLMI01 and could be, for example, MySQLMI01.contoso.com. Another limitation is that the SQL Server and the SQL Managed Instance must listen for incoming SQL connections on the same port. For the complete list of the limitations and detailed guide on the migration and minimizing migration failover downtime with listener endpoint, check out Zoran's blog at aka.ms slash sqlmi dash blog dash listener. I hope this was useful. See you in the next video.